Okay, so this game had huge shoes to fill. After creating the masterpiece Amnesia The Dark Descent and Soma, and Machine for Pigs, Frictional Studios' latest title, Amnesia Rebirth, was set to be the, the creme de la creme. But did it meet our expectations? Well... We play as a young woman named Anastasi. Anastasi. Anastasi? Or Tassi. Tassi? Who's on some kind of expedition with her husband in Africa. As to be expected, the plane crashes and we wake up alone in the wreckage, not remembering a damn thing. It is called amnesia, after all. Well, anyways, we stumble through the desert, looking for any other survivors, all while being up the stump. You slowly start to remember the events that took place in the not-so-distant past. So, somehow you did a bunch of other stuff in these random places far away from the crash site, then went all the way back to the crash site to forget it all. Okay, I'm sure that makes sense to somebody. So, in typical amnesia style, the player character is afraid of the dark. So if you linger in the shadows for too long, your sanity will begin to slip. So better be frugal with those matches, because if you run out, your fear increases. Instantly. This is an annoying mechanic. I wasn't a huge fan of it in the original Amnesia, but at least in those games it didn't really impede my progress. This is just annoying to me. Especially since you can light like a maximum of three candles with one match, and if you move too fast, the match will go out. <laughs> Why doesn't she just grab a candelabra and take it with her? Jesus! We do eventually get a lantern. Too bad you'll basically never have fuel for it. Having too much light would negate the fear of the dark mechanic, so, of course. If you find yourself with no light source, you can calm yourself and your baby down by staying in place. Look, I get it. It's unique. It's reminiscent of the double Ds we all know and love, but I'm just not feeling this one. I can't really put my finger on it. Something is lacking. I don't really care what's happened to the other characters at all, or to Tassie herself. They aren't very likable. They're just normal, boring-ass people. In The Dark Descent, we played as Daniel, who left clues for himself along the way. We eventually learned of what atrocities he and his partner Alexander did to those innocent people. We had a wow factor, and plenty of oh-shit moments. But Rebirth's character building is anticlimactic. Big moments happen and you're supposed to feel something, but nothing. I feel as soulless as these blatant Dementor ripoffs you have here. Also, death is meaningless in this game. There's no respawn to your last checkpoint and try again type of thing. When you're attacked by the monster, your character basically goes insane with fear and ends up in another area. Half the time I ended up wondering if that was supposed to happen or if I just suck at this. I don't know. This game isn't terrible, but it's definitely not my favorite in the Frictional Studios collection. And if you've played this game, let me know in the comments what you thought about the Amnesia series. Don't forget to subscribe for more morbid content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.